Hey, what's going on Weavers? Tim here again. In today's video, we're doing a review of the Pro Paracord Jig. So this is kind of a two-in-one jig uh, that does monkey strips as well as bracelets. And uh, if you guys like this review and you like what you see here, you can get this jig in the um, links down below. So um, yeah, that being said, let's get into this review. So getting into it, um, yeah, it's a kind of standard looking uh, metal constructed paracord jig. It has those two uh, metal tabs up top and bottom for you to hook your uh, buckles onto. And of course you've got this screw in the middle with a wing nut on it and you can um, tighten that and loosen it to adjust the length. And it's got, you know, a ruler or it's kind of ruled markings on it as well for you to gauge your size. And uh, the main difference of course is that it is also a monkey's fist jig. So looking up top to the metal X here, this is uh, one of the main selling points. It is the monkey's fist jig portion of it. So it comes with these metal rods that have threaded ends and using some uh, nuts and whatnot, you can screw them onto this X and create an adjustable monkey's fist jig, right? So we're gonna accommodate different sizes of uh, cores, whether it be like a marble, well, maybe not a marble, but you'd use you know, different size ball bearings or uh, wooden balls or whatever. Um, you can use those as your cores and you can adjust the size of this and yeah, it works uh, quite well as a monkey's fist jig. Uh, the rods are a bit thin on the thinner side because, um, you know, this is a much smaller jig. It's not like a dedicated monkey's fist jig, but I did find that it does accommodate um, even these sort of heavier size ball bearings just fine. It didn't like, um, it, the, like the rods basically, they weren't too weak to hold up a, a larger f sized um, metal ball bearing. And um, yeah, that worked out fine. So um, of course, it, it because of its smaller size, it won't be able to accommodate um, much bigger size cores. Like maybe if you're using something like an eight ball or something, that's definitely too big for something like this. But um, yeah, for uh, the sort of more average size to smaller ones, um, it'll work just fine. Now, function wise, as a uh, brace jig, it works just fine as well. Um, you tighten and loosen the wing nut here, as I mentioned earlier. One minor issue I did have with this um, part of the jig was that sometimes when I'm trying to loosen it, the whole screw um, just ends up turning with it. And I have to either um, put a screwdriver in there to, you know, hold it down in place or just press down on it really tightly with my thumb. And that allows me to kind of loosen it. Um, I didn't really have this issue with my speedy jig. I could always just uh, loosen and tighten without having to do that. So not a huge gripe, just a minor thing. In terms of construction, um, again, we have metal construction. It is lighter on the uh, slightly lighter side, as in the, uh, I guess the metal that they used uh, is a bit thinner. So um, not a bad thing, but again, I do prefer a slightly heavier jig because it stays in place a bit uh, more easily and you don't have to do anything crazy like, you know, clamp it down to your table or whatnot. Um, because, you know, wooden jigs and whatnot, they tend to move around. And um, this is metal, of course, so it does stay in place decently. But compared to my speedy jig, um, speedy jig is heavier. So it tends to feel a little bit more stable. And I'm looking at the bottom in terms of uh, mentioning stability. It does have these little rubber feet on the bottom, which work fine just as well. So overall construction, yeah, it's very good. It's uh, painted this nice orange color. And uh, man, I really wish they made jigs in some, some more kind of subtler colors. Um, I mean, you guys know me based on the colors I use in my bracelets. I tend to like the more, you know, earth tones and whatnot. And um, be nice to have a jig to match that. But um, yeah, this one comes in a nice orange. And um, yeah, just personal preference at that, at that point. Also, one thing I did notice about loosening and tightening the jig is sometimes the... Um, the middle plate here, this is a really minor kind of OCD thing, but um, it can tend to rotate uh, or twist a little and it doesn't fully line up. Sometimes if you just tighten it all willy-nilly, willy um, you do have to kind of, you know, line it up a little bit better um, before you tighten it down. I don't know if I can really describe that or show that in the video, but I'll try. But um, just a minor thing again, not a huge deal breaker for me. So overall, I think this is a very good jig. It's um, yeah constructed constructed well, and it does its job just fine. Uh, for those of you that you know really like to do monkey fists as well as the bracelets, this is definitely an option for you. Um, if you don't want to get like a separate monkey fist jig, 
you know you don't have too much too many things around um, it's nice because it's kind of got like a two-in-one thing um, but if you don't really tie a lot of monkey's fists then you know you could get this one still and it would just do great or you could just get uh, you know a different type of jig like the speedy jig but uh, yeah overall good jig uh, pro paracord jig uh, you can get it in the links down below and I hope you guys enjoyed this review so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.